Hey, good afternoon, folks. This is Todd and Mike from Snyder's Hives and Honey. Mike's getting suited up. I'm all suited up. We're down in Melbourne, Florida. Uh, it's the 21st of February, and uh, we got some bees going in this house right here. They're going in that soffit area right there. And uh, yesterday we did one underneath a, a porch. I didn't get that one uploaded yet, but uh, we'll get that one uploaded to YouTube as well. But uh, these bees have been here for a while. The reason why I know they've been here for a while is because I saw them back in November when I was here taking a swarm out of the neighbor's mango tree. And uh, I told the customer then that uh, he had bees going in and out. He knew about it, but he didn't want to do anything about it at the time. Since then, his son has gotten stung several times. So now he figures he better do something about it. So uh, it's gonna be a kind of a difficult removal. As, as you can see, this uh, soffit right here comes around, wraps around, but then there's a gable end that goes up this way. So I'm gonna try and come back. They're most likely up on the roof, right in this area here. I'm hoping that they're not going down in the block wall. Then that's a, a different situation. So um, they're probably going in there, going back anywhere over in this area here. I tried to get a heat registration on it, but because it's uh, about 85 degrees out today, and yesterday when I was here looking at it, uh, I couldn't get a good definition of where they were at. I was getting a lot of heat signal coming off the shingles and out of the soffit. Um, worst case scenario is we're going to have to attack these girls from the inside as well. So, But we're going to start vacuuming up some of the foragers coming back. You can see there's a lot of them coming back. And uh, they're bringing pollen back in. But uh, I'm going to get in a little closer here. And I want you to see all of that yellow on the soffit and on the white band there. That's pollen that's come off of their legs as they're going in and out of this colony. And uh, so that tells you they've been here for a while, that they're, they've got a good pattern of uh, pollen on the wall there. So, uh, but anyhow, we're gonna get started getting these girls out of here. We'll keep you posted. All right, folks, we got this opened up and uh, we're vacuuming out these girls here. This colony has been here for at least a year based on the color of this comb. This area here is all packed full of honey. Uh, so we're going to start removing these bees here and uh, extracting this out of here, uh, getting this honey out of here. I know there's some more brood and more comb. Got to be farther back in there. So based just on the number of bees that are coming back, uh, that this is not just it. So we'll take some more video as we're going along here. I just wanted to give you a, an update of what we found so far. We'll keep you posted. Running, getting this out, Mike's vacuuming them up. Running into some brood now and uh, still a little bit of honey, but not a lot. So uh, the brood does go and the comb does go back up over top of this two by four here. So we don't know how much bigger this colony is got to get all this out of here and then we'll have to investigate further. I'm afraid it goes further into the house, not just in the soffit here. We'll keep you posted. Take some more videos here as we go along. All right, folks, so we've got this all cleaned out underneath here, but the bees have actually run underneath here. You can see them, they're all up in here. And so we're just, there's no comb, but they ran up in here. So we're gonna just start sucking these girls up. We're hoping the queen's in there. We'll just suck these girls down. Big clumps of them here.
All right, show me. There you go. All right, we're getting the last bit done here. We're getting this soffit put back in. Um, we ended up having to go further up into this uh, roof line here to get these girls out of here. So, uh, a lot more extensive than I thought it was going to be. Um, but uh, getting this put back together for this customer. So we were not able to find the queen, but I'm pretty sure we vacuumed her up because there were some good clumps up this way underneath the socket going the other direction that they all ran up there after we started cutting the comb out. But uh, a lot of times she hides up in a place like that. And what we do is we just vacuum them up. We'll look for her tomorrow after we get these bees back in their brood box in one of our apiaries. So uh, these girls are very calm. You can see again, no veil. Um, they're buzzing around my face, but they are not aggressive at all. So what they're doing is just cleaning up any honey drips that we got on the wall in different places. So I hope you enjoyed watching this one. And uh, if you find these videos educational and fun to watch, please like and follow us either on Facebook or on YouTube. And as always, be happy!